Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it is. We just got out of the weekend, and because I went out of town, Lonnie decided to stay home and list. So we didn't go source. Um, this, I didn't list much either. Well, that's fine. I mean, you deserved a break too. So, uh, although mine was not very relaxing, it was fun though. Um, so we may end up going at some point either today or tomorrow to storage to pick up some things for a listing. So um, if we do that, we will definitely show you what we got. Um, Cause I don't think there's much around here besides the nutcrackers we need to work on now, huh? No, we had to pretty much get everything out of here except for that to have room for that. Right. Although we do have a lot of nutcrackers still. Yeah, we're gonna um, get started working on those. Um, you know, like gluing pieces back on or whatever. You know, taking a look at those and seeing what we need to do. We we also have a good. Um, there's a really good chance we're gonna be making another private buy this weekend. Um, I'm not gonna say anything more than that till till it's definite one well, we'll keep y'all updated on that if it happens yeah i think there's a good chance uh well i think we, we're probably going to do this on saturday yeah. but just in case we don't i'm not going to give any more details um, i did actually list some spark plugs. spark plugs while you're gone but not that many um i didn't get it done like i said i was gonna, going yeah, to do big talk well, I mean, I do, I do have a total of, this ends up being like a total of 71 listings I've done so far for spark plugs mm -hmm. for $901. Hey, that's, that's darn good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. We'll see if they sell now or not. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it is Monday morning and uh, interesting sales weekend, not high volume, but the value of a lot of the sales uh made up for the lack of volume yeah we're happy with the money it brought in right yep, so. pretty happy anyways could always be better but not gonna complain nope um so yeah let's go ahead and get these things pulled we did uh i did also want to mention that candace candace did a really good job um uh, running the tape the america bubble boy my go-to tape giveaway uh, you had seven people respond. Yeah, we've only had three people not claim their prize. So um, if you're watching and you entered and you didn't check, please go to which video was it? Okay, this is the video where the winners are announced. Passing these up at yard sales is a big mistake. At the end of that video is where we actually draw the winners. Yep, so, so yeah, we're missing three responses. Please go check if you haven't so we can um, get you your free tape if you want. Again, big thanks to Joel over at American Bubble Boy. Uh, link down below. That's where we buy all of our bubble wrap and tape from now. And looking forward to, Joel has let me know that there are more products coming uh, this year. I think he's really going to start to branch out. No so. time frame or no specifics yet. And we do appreciate if you use our link down below for the bubble wrap. And don't forget, if you are buying tape, Use code shed flips and you save five percent on the tape. Yep. You ready to pull orders? I'm ready. Okay, I did go ahead and pull a couple of Walmart pen orders. What are we looking for here? Seven is a, a smiley dressed as a witch. Yep, that's her. And then 46 has a Christmas tree on it. So season's greetings. Yep, got them. Those are both on the same order. Yes, and those sold for 21, 23 plus shipping. Three Bravo, we sold a Tyndale Bible. I guess I'm saying that right, Tyndale. Three, three what? Bravo. Three Bravo. That's close enough. It's a brownish cover. Yeah, I got it. It's this big Bible in here. Don't remember. I got that in a state sale recently, I think, huh? Probably so, yeah. Yeah. And we sure. sold that for $31.49. Okay, dope. All right, next item is seven Charlie. It's these um, layout like flat, uh, oh, I don't know how to describe it. It's um, for Liberty Falls, like this village. Yeah, they're, they're, you set up the, the it sees village figurine things. And then you you use these map things. You set them up on top of yeah, it. Yeah, it's got right? like the roads and the places. You know, it's places mm -hmm. places in the town. Seven Where's it Charlie. at again? Seven Trail. Yeah. All right. I don't know if, you can get to it. if I can get no, I cannot get to it. Well, yeah, I can actually get to them sort of. Hang on. 
Both of them, right? Yeah, I sold them as one lot. We got, I remember this. This was like a private pick we did. Yeah, an estate sale company had um, people come in by appointment. We actually got some good stuff that day. Yeah. This yeah. is. So you can see there's like streams and roads and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and lakes. Two Bravo Sony Mavica. Yeah, that's a parts only unit. On two Bravo, right? Uh, what is what model is it? MVC FD88. This is F cam. I wonder if this is it. This has been up there for a long time. All right, yeah, this is it. All right, that's Comes it. with a charger and everything. Yeah. Okay. Untested. $11.24. Okay. We have two orders with Monster High on it. Uh, the first order has one for Echo Claudine Wolf. Okay. All right, got her. $11 for that one. Okay. The next order has two on it. They're on five Bravo and five Echo, Clio and Toralee. Bravo Echo. I go the other side. All righty, five Bravo. We have a Clio and Echo. We've got a Toralee. $25.98 for those. Did we sell any on Macari? No. This, no? Oh, no. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry, we did. Okay. Yeah, we sold one. All right, on two Bravo, you sold one of those Burago cars. Yeah, I listed one of them the other day. We just got this last weekend. I got to move all this stuff over again. Whoop, that didn't fit. This guy right here is Ferrari. $15 for that. Okay. Six Brava Don's cookbook. We just sold one the other day and now we sold the other. I'm glad you put it on a different shelf because otherwise I would have grabbed the wrong one or yeah. could have. Aha, here it is right here. $26.24. How many of these have you sold now? Like five of them or something? Yeah, four or five. <laughs> 10 Bravo Re Ravel uh, Mercury 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 an hour or so after the sales. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of see why, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that was worth that much. We saw it a nut, cl nut <laughs> cracker mm -hmm. on 12 Charlie left. It's a chef. All right. Looking at 12 Alpha Bravo. That's Charlie right here. And it's a chef. It must be this guy here, right? It is, yeah. I like him with all his little fruits and vegetables. Uh, he's kind of tall. I gotta be careful. Yeah. I'm gonna scrape his hat. Okay. Sold does, him for 100. Okay. Does hopefully does his no? I don't think it. That's gotta be real careful. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. I think that is actually gonna be going. Uh, first, by priority or first. It's kind of tall, but he's also kind of skinny and not yeah. that heavy, so it can it it's gonna go. I think we did parcel on that listing, but I think the priority is like right around the same price anyway, yeah. so I'm gonna send it priority. Nine Charlie, New Orleans, New Orleans Zephyr's mini bat. Yep, here we go. 
Fifteen dollars for that. Well, they changed their name to the Baby Cakes last I heard, and now I don't even know if they still exist or. Yeah, I don't know. If they're still called the. I don't keep up with that. <laughs> I think because we have such a huge LSU baseball following here, it's hard yeah. to compete. Uh, three Delta, a uh, uh, new IV study Bible. Three Delta. Yeah. I feel like a blue cover. Yep. Like hard cover like that. Mm -hmm. Sell that for eight dollars. Nine Delta uranium glass relish dish. Let's see, I actually saw this the other day. It's right back here. Is there a B? Yeah, so I had two of them. So that's the B that we sold. Nineteen dollars for that. Okay. We sell it a hat. All right. New Orleans, not New Orleans. A Zep, uh, Quicksilver. Why do I have Zephyr in my head? Because we just sold a Zephyr bat. It's a Zephyr's camo bat. Quicksilver hat. Okay. For ten dollars and forty-nine cents. This guy right here, I think. Yep. Okay. Italiana. We need to pick some more up. Oh, yes, we do. We do have two more left here, but yeah, we need to pick some more up. $30. These are definitely sold down, but we are, I mean, slowed down, but we are. They, they sell one, one every one or, week or one, so. or, one, or, one or two a week. Yeah. Which is fine. All right, the next order is three Walmart pins. Let's get those pulled. Okay. Okay, I got these three pulled. I'm going to read them off to you. Make sure we have the right ones. Okay. 11 is Smiley on a Witch. Another one, yep. Or Smiley as a Witch. Yep. Which is the same one, just a different one, right? Yep. And then 19 is Worldwide Retail Champs Walmart. Yep. And then 163. Most Admired Company. Yep. All three of those, $33 on that order. Man, these, these Walmart pens just keep on giving forever and ever, it seems like. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pack this round of orders, and we got some more stuff. All right, I'm to packing the Nutcracker now. This, this guy right here, and he is going to be going priority. I checked. And it makes the most sense. And what I did, I took two of these number seven boxes. These ship by weight. These are not flat rate products. A lot of people, uh, anytime I show a number seven box, they ask me why I'm doing this to flat rate. These are not flat rate. So I took two of them. Um, I cut out one complete side and then constructed them and taped them. And then put them together to make a longer box. You can see this is the idea here. This guy will get wrapped in bubble, but also something I do, the side that I cut out of each one, I'll put one, I'll put one in the bottom typically, and then I'll put one at the top uh, just to provide a little bit of extra thickness on the cardboard since I have it anyways. And the first thing I do is I wrap in two directions with the large bubble from Bubble Boy. Link down below. But um, it is a, a bit of a splurge. Large bubbles are not that cheap. But for some stuff, uh, I mean, yeah, I could do this a different way. But this is really, this is the only way I'm willing to pack this. And then... So I have the cardboard at the bottom. I've got a bed of paper. It's about four sheets of packing paper. I have to be a, I have to be pretty careful careful in this area right here because he has that Ming Yu and the food. So I may even go with tissue paper across this area here. But now I just need to void fill. Okay, so all done. I did put a little bit of tissue paper in that midsection, put packing paper in the rest of it, and then I did take that other scrap. I put that little piece of panel down that side, and the rest of it goes across the top to provide some extra protection. And that should be a good pack. Let me get that taped up. And that's it. I did the shake test on it. No movement. 
box is strong it's ready to roll all right we got all the usps stuff packed up all right i got all the usps stuff packed up kind of bummed out right now yeah because when, when i started packing candace was taking some photos and our camera just died and it didn't do like you can tell when the battery goes dead it kind of slowly dies because it saves whatever you just took to make sure it saves this just went bam dead and i had a feeling but i changed out the battery anyway and it still didn't power up and i'm like oh no yeah this sucks bad because this camera even though it's a little older model this is a uh, canon m50 mark one it's still over a $300 camera, even used. Yeah. So, I, we, I read a few things. I'm, I'm going to try a few other things out. First of all, we're just going to leave it unplugged and not connected to anything for a day. Yeah. And then there's a few other little things we can try, but pretty good chance. I may even send it to Canon and see how much they want to fix it yeah if it if it comes to that i'm really bummed out yeah. candace is bummed out too because she's got to use her cell phone now. i know like my phone it does it does pretty good i have a new phone but it's just it's we're just so used to the quality well, the, the issue the issue with cell phones are all, and cameras if you put them in automatic mode is if you just take a picture with a cell phone like it's going to take a great photo however it's not going to know like a lot of times the white balance is going to be messed up yeah or the exposure is going to be too too high or low and then right so you're taking like your picture of your full thing when when you go in to get close-ups of different parts then it of changes it, it the changes your exposure white balance and everything yep uh and i know we're we're probably being over picky but we're just no, used no, to the quality not. of our pictures no so i i don't even want to take nutcracker pictures without it which I mean, thankfully, I'm done with all the ones without issues. So I did start working on some that have issues. And in the meantime, I'm listing some other little just things that the pictures really don't matter. You know, um, I am going to start. I, I'm testing out painting on this guy's arm. He had a big patch missing. And I went and got some of Molly's paints. Um, I didn't even know you were doing this. Yeah. So, and she's got, we've got like clear, um, clear coat, clear coat and all kind of stuff. So uh, I'm testing it out on him. I did one layer and I think I'm going to have to, I mean, I should have, uh, this told me right now, I, I definitely needed to prime and we do have primer paint. So, um, I was just seeing how it did on that piece. I think in general paint is going to be a no, no go. Yeah. Especially for big areas like that. If, it, if it's just like, a, I don't know, we'll see. I think, I think typically I think I'm thinking painting is going to be sell as is Yeah. instead of, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Super bummed about this camera. I'm really, <sighs> uh, yeah. I'm disgusted. It hurts, man. Ugh. All right. Uh, all that stuff is out and but we do have ups orders and also mercari order that we nearly forgot about yeah monster high frankie stein on nine echo okay echo. all right got her 15 plus ship okay go ahead and get her out first but uh let's go ahead and pull those okay ups orders so you sold those um wi-fi access things yep ubiquity um, things yeah. yep one foxtrot yeah that was a that was a mega score there man let's see i just put them in a they're not going to ship in this box i just put them in here to keep them kind of together or whatever we but, sold those for 160. yeah paid five sold them for 160 within a couple of days for the four we have a samsonite suitcase up <laughs> oh i think it's probably that I one see it, yeah, let me go get my thing all right going up and there you go does that look like the one in the photo yep so i listed a couple around the same time yeah what did we get for that 
think we paid three dollars for that one we got 30 plus ship okay yeah i mean as long as you don't mind taking a few minutes to pack something like that these are pretty good i think you know a little bread and butter type thing guess what <laughs> got something else i know what, yeah. what, what we got a bat right no one of those miller light posters oh natural light natural, natural light. light one of those really long posters i think it might be right here let's see yeah, yeah. that's it yeah I think this is a. I think we had three of these at one point. Yeah, that's the last one. Uh, Twenty-two dollars and forty-nine cents. Okay. Uh, up again. I know. I know. I know. Uh, this is the Easton Mako bat for All seventy. Right. Okay, Easton. Green. Yeah, I think this is it right here. That one right there. I just I listed three bats last week. We got them last weekend. But three bats for a dollar each. There you go. Three bats for a dollar each at a garage sale. And uh, sold the first one of them for, you said 70? 70. So that's a heck of a return there, huh? Yeah, that was a good score. <laughs> yeah, big awesome time. Score. All right, we have a Nutcracker Paul Bunyan on 12A4. Okay. My gosh. One, two, three, four. Getting your leg worked out today. Well, I don't think your one, two, three, four really works. Oh, he's on two, actually. Oh, he's at the very top I there. Think, yeah, I think he okay. got moved over there because of his size. My gosh, man. <laughs> I can't. This, Bonnie's on the stairmaster today. Four things in a row. <laughs> oh, this guy is not as big as I thought. You listed this one actually. Did Remember? I? Yeah. This is the one with the blue ox, right? Yeah. And I thought it was a bull. <laughs> yeah, babe, babe, yeah. the blue, big blue ox. I used, man, I used to love. Did you read those books when you were a kid? No. Did y'all read Paul Bunyan? Man, I love Paul Bunyan. Uh, I remember he used to chop down trees, and he had his his blue ox, babe. They would hang with him that was his homie and then i remember uh my favorite part of the books is when like he'd sit down after a long day of, of work and he'd eat a big old stack of flapjacks <laughs> what is this story i mean I, i've heard of paul bunyan but i didn't know the details he's a lumberjack why why is his ox named babe i don't know is that his girlfriend stop it <laughs> do you just so say you didn't read the books you don't have to ruin my childhood <laughs> <laughs> that's why you like pancakes so much <laughs> that's also why i like oxes so much that's why i can't stop talking about oxen are we taking Man, them out oh that's a weird no we're not gonna take them out okay okay yeah right. so for him we got um three hundred dollars wow that's yeah. a really good one yeah awesome one all right so this is easy this is fill void mm -hmm. box in box yeah. easy these are both gonna be use a box wrap a wrap a tube or i may look at usps and see what the uh difference in shipping is yeah since the priority rates are a little better now mm, yeah but you still have the uh the length these would probably be four dollar surcharge yeah. but i will take a look just yeah. to see this is probably just going to go ups this is probably going to go ups They're heavy huh yeah kind of yeah. yeah. all right let me go ahead and get I'll, I'll go ahead and pack this stuff and i'll show y'all how i how i did it after i'm done all right finally done packing so we have a bat a poster a briefcase that is the nutcracker double box and big bubbled with a bubble bat bubble bubble wrap from america bubble boy code down below or link down below i should say code is for the tape only five percent off tape only you want to see something weird talking about Bubble Boy? What? Go down that aisle behind you to the unlisted shelf. Right here? Yeah. Uh -huh. to, your, to your left, look at the Bible that's written on the outside of it. Okay. My go to you? My go to, huh? Oh, my go to. Isn't that weird? Oh, that's like the tape. Except somebody thought that said my go-to is not tape. My go-to is this book here. Yeah, isn't that crazy? My go-to. We got that from 
from Kevin and Danielle, and I've been pulling books from up there. I've books. seen it before. Yeah. I've read that before. You didn't write that after we started no, using that tape, huh? No, when we bought it. And I, I mean, we saw it before, but now I didn't even think about it when this tape came out that that was on that book up there. Huh. Isn't that weird? So, yeah. So, the, the tape is... Okay, yeah. All right. So, uh, where was that? Oh. <laughs> man i get thrown off track here uh what i say oh that's the uh that's babe and the blue ox oh Who pink pancakes? he does like the flapjacks or pancakes like uh i don't know <laughs> are there people that like pancakes that don't like waffles or vice versa probably you think what do you prefer depends i prefer waffles i think i do know I, the syrup when i was in their little pockets you know what? I think I prefer a good waffle too. Yeah. There's Not bad. Like it frozen egg. We mean waffles. Right, right, right. Um, and then this, these are the ubiqu ubiquity router things. So, uh, heavy UPS day. All right, that was a long packing day for me. It wasn't that much stuff, but it was like a lot of big stuff. Some big, big stuff. But um, I like the big stuff though because, like, th that was what five packages. Yeah. And it ended up being like 500 and I added it up. It was around $570 in orders just in those packages, not including shipping too. Big so, boxes, big money. That's what we always say. Yeah. And then always... Big bubble, big money. A big, yeah. <laughs> big boxes, Lonnie's going to cry about packing them though also <laughs> while, while we're making the money. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.